Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our Star Wars Outer Rim five-year anniversary gameplay live stream. Five years of Outer Rim, I know this is one of my favorite games that I, personally overall uh, just ever uh, before I started here, and it was one of the first things was like that came out after I started was Unfinished Business, and so this is super exciting for me <laughs> yeah. to get to sit with you all and talk about this and get all my questions answered. Exciting. Uh, so I'm your host, Xander. We are joined by two wonderful people. <laughs> Uh, would you like to introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, I'm Molly Glover. I'm a senior game producer at Fantasy Flight Games, and I was the producer on Outer Rim and Unfinished Business. I'm Tony Fanchi. I'm a senior game designer at FFG, and I was a co-designer on Outer Rim and its expansion. <laughs> and so you mentioned co-designer, mm -hmm. and so I just want to point out for everybody in the chat that we do have Corey Kineska joining us <laughs> from distance to uh, hang out with us as we celebrate five years. And so. Thank you, Corey, for joining us. We'll just wave and say hello to you all as well. Uh, but I also want to mention uh, right off the bat, because I, we can see the chat and we know that people have been talking about this, that uh, is there an announcement coming? Is there is there more content coming for Outer Rim? I just want to address that now, that we are not announcing anything today. There's, there's no big news. We just wanted to get together with all of you to celebrate five years, enjoy some gameplay with the uh, Unfinished Business expansion, and chat a little bit about Outer Rim. So it's going to be super fun. Yeah. Uh, we can go through who we're playing as because we, we got everything set up beforehand so we don't have to spend a little bit of time, you know, picking characters and our ambitions and everything. So uh, I'm playing as Lando Calrissian and I'm doing the living legend uh, mm. as mine. And so it just felt right. Who's yeah. a more living legend than Lando <laughs> exactly. Calrissian? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I am playing as Dr. Afra, and I'm going to be the pirate monarch, Dr. Afra. <laughs> Nice. I'm playing a an aggressive Chewbacca who wants to be a bounty hunter. Ooh. Oh man! That... So my my ambition is to become the galaxy's most feared Wookiee. <laughs> That's so good. I, I would be scared of Chewbacca if he was hunting me as a bounty. So I get it. <laughs> I, I can. I mean, that's a lot of like teeth and muscle up close, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I would be. I would definitely be like, yeah. fearful of a Wookiee up close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the so I don't have to do much to get that no, title. No, you got this. You got yeah. this. Uh, so we decided beforehand that Molly, would you like to go first? Yeah. We can uh, go ahead and get into this. Sounds good. Okay, so I am going to, uh, it's my planning step, so I'm, go I'm just going to move because I'm way over here in this big mm -hmm. core. Uh, so my movement is six. Could you please move me? Let's see. I'm trying to get to Mon Calamari. Okay. So okay. If, that, if that helps One, figure out two, where to go. Three. Four, five, six, Perfect, or yeah. you could land here on Lothal with instead. You know instead. what? I will land on Lothal. All it's right. always a little yeah, safer not out. to be in loose space. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then do I do all of my things at one go? Is that how yes, it, yeah, yep. that's what I thought. All right. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. Apologies, <laughs> chat. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, since so I'm your action all, step. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to perform a market action, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I need a, I need another job. Yeah. Yeah, what's it, this one? Something to keep you busy, right? Yeah, so we've got Heart of the Empire is one of these jobs. And it needs knowledge and tech, and that's something I'm good at. So you know what? I will take this job. Okay. Now I have two jobs. All right. So the Imperial moves three. Yep. Mm -hmm. One, two, three puts the Imperial. Sorry, Chewie. You're hanging oh. out with the uh, Imperials today. Eh, they don't know me. That's, that's true. You're not worried about it at all. All right. Uh, I don't have anything else that I need to do right now. So mm -hmm. And there's nobody... I need, to run, just, I need to resolve my encounter. Yes, card. would you like to flip up a contact token or would you like a card? I think I would like a card. All righty. Cool. All right. <clears throat> uh, Lethal, if you have positive Imperial reputation, which I do, mm -hmm. uh, the Empire is strip mining the planet's resources to build something big. The Rebel Alliance wants to know what. Test influence. And if I pass, I gain Rebel reputation and some, some credits. So let's see. Did I roll all two dice. Two dice. Yep, two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, do you have see. influence? I do not have influence. Oh, Would no. you like so. to gain it with your ability? Ooh, that's a good point. Ooh. Yes. Uh, once per turn, Afra can gain a skill of my choice. I will gain in influence for this all right. test. Why not? Uh, therefore, I succeed. Hooray! Nice. And so I get two thousand credits and one rebel reputation. Hey, that's not too bad. Good, Playing both good. sides. That's right. You know, uh, when you're an academic, you got to get what you can yep. where you get it. So. Uh, so we did have a question before I get started here, because uh, that was your encounter step. Uh, what our ideal player count is for Outer Rim mm. when you play when you play at home? We'll just ask that because I mean, I, I, obviously you could play one to four. So what what do you do? My gaming when you group play is home? four, so we four. usually play four. It's mm -hmm. usually me and my husband, and then another couple when we play. So nice. yeah, 
My ideal is probably three. Mm -hmm. um, a little less time in between turns than four, but you still get that negotiation, especially with the favors and the expansion. Yeah. Fair. I really like four personally because I also the play group that I would play with is oh it makes sense to play with four and yeah. I like how much especially with like unfinished business of like messing with each other and getting mm -hmm. favors oh, and sure. maneuvering yeah. that yeah. like interpersonal one extra player just adds so much to it yeah uh, cool so I'll start off I am heading to Tatooine um, can't get there though I was already you know maneuvering in my head before this unless I go and try to do the Kessel run but I'm not going to do that yet because uh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. You could ask for a favor to get you one more movement. I think I would like a favor. Uh, who would like to grant me a favor? I'll grant you a favor. Ooh. There you go. Take that, yeah. Favor is freely offered. No mm -hmm. no nonsense here. No, nothing nothing yeah. to be suspicious about no. over there. Chewbacca bounty hunter <laughs> yeah. is definitely not up to anything. Um, <laughs> so action step. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything to deliver here at Nalhada. I need some more jobs. I think I'm going to flip over this one and ah. show the top. Ooh, Corellia Passage. I don't it's think I want that cargo. one either. Uh, do we do this one now? Oh, nope. wait, you nope. could cycle another one. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> I didn't like that one. Let's hope for the best. Imperial Defector. Uh, to buy, I roll a die. On a hit, I buy this. Otherwise, resolve card 95. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to give it a try. All right. Yeah. Um, let's find out. That's not it. Resolve card 95. Would you like to use your ability to re-roll that die? I actually do. Well, <laughs> I'm scared that I'm going to need this extra re-roll on this ability. Mm, ah, maybe. Let's find out. We might not need it at all if I re-roll well. Legend. Here. <laughs> Living legend status. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Thank there you, you Tony. All right. So I get this one and my destination is a rebel patrol, which is the opposite direction, but we'll come back around for it. Um, unfortunately, I only have one cargo slot, so I will have to get rid of my moisture evaporators. Uh, but this seems like it's more worth it for me anyway. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. Next uh, card up in the deck has a flip contact icon. So you have to choose one contact on your planet and flip its token up. <laughs> Who are you looking for? <laughs> uh, right. I'm looking for a white contact right. token, Garindan. Well, I'm going to let flip over the yellow one. All right. Grand Admiral Thrawn. So you don't have to en encounter him, but you can if you like. I don't think I'm going to. I don't feel confident in my ability to hang out with Grand Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> uh, so for my encounter, I'll just do the card. All right. Let's hope for the best. Now, Hutta, if I have positive or hut reputation, I do not. If I have neutral or negative, test tactics. If I pass, gain one hut reputation, and you may buy the top card of that deck, mm. the job deck. Do mm. you have tactics? <laughs> Do not. Ah. Uh, and I don't have any more favors <laughs> <laughs> to lend out for free. So we're just going to test and hope for the best. I don't think anything bad happens if I fail. But nope. that's okay. And I did that's fail. Okay. So nothing bad happens, but I don't get anything cool either. So call that a wash for this round. All right. All you, Tony. Yeah. So I've got six speed. My cargo wants to go to Nal Hutta, which I can't quite reach. So, would you move me to Tatooine, please? Got it directly over. Let's see. One, two. How mm -hmm. much? What's your speed? Six. Three. And then through Rylog? Yeah. Four, five, six. There mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, the Ready? Contact on Tatooine. Um, I want to look for another bounty, so. I don't want to look for this Han Solo guy. He seems annoying. So. <laughs> uh, I don't, don't want to look for Jin or so either. Sagarera comes up next. Um, he's still pretty tough. Is there anything else I'd rather buy? I could afford a jetpack, but without tactics, it's not super useful to me. That's fair. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up the saw bounty. Why not? Might as well. Next card up has no icons on it. And for my encounter, I can either look at this white contact or I can pursue my personal goal, which is gaining crew from orange contacts. There is um, an orange contact on Tatooine. There is. There's, there's one everywhere. Yeah. I think I'm going to, because there's a white on this planet and I don't want to hang around, I will go ahead and flip that one up. And I found Wiley. Number 22, please. Number 22. Let's see if I got that on the first. He's not the droid I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> 
Most droids are rather high strung, so Wily's laid back demeanor and easy charm are a pleasant surprise. If I'm Lando, I'd get him for free. Otherwise, I may test tech. I have tech. I have tech. My test has two hits, so that is a pass. Ah, bummer. If I pass, I gain the crew That's below go and there. discard the token. I might as well gain him, because I could use his influence. I can tell I'm used to playing cooperative games lately, because you're like, ah, bummer. And I'm like, that's not nice. And they're like, oh, wait, no, no, we want him to fail. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my turn. Uh, cool. Well, we had a, another question that we wanted to ask real quick, which was for you, Tony, mm -hmm. and for Corey, uh, if you'd like to answer in the chat as well. But when you were designing Outer Rim, obviously you came in with like some core design ideas behind it. Um, you talked about jumping on a little later, but what were some of those must-haves that you had when you first sat down and were like, we're going to make this game. What, what stayed true from the beginning to the end of like things that you wanted to have mm -hmm. and see in this game? Probably the, the core concept of this game is we wanted to make it feel like you are a character traversing the Outer Rim and trying to survive in kind of a, a harsh and unforgiving uh, area of space um, and so maintaining that kind of role-playing feel was really the the core of the game that we wanted to pursue from the start that's very cool very cool um, Molly we have a question for you as well oh, exciting uh, so obviously you were the producer on this game yeah and so what what did it take basically to get some of these things made like what was the, yeah. some of the most challenging parts of you know this really cool unique board and player boards and things yeah honestly so uh the two biggest things were the the puzzle cuts that you can see on the board uh getting the and the way that the lines of the tra of the space you know like travel tracks for lack of a better word mm -hmm. like line up uh getting those to line up perfectly with a actual printed copy as opposed oh, yeah. to just in our file mm -hmm. that took a lot of uh fiddling uh, and then the other thing that I thought was really fun, uh, the player boards. So, you know, the player boards had the sliders mm -hmm. and we were concerned that uh, over time of sliding these up and down, that after a while, the, the Imperial Rebel, all the information underneath would wear away, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, a, a known worry. So I had a prototype of this that we had printed from the factory. They printed mm -hmm. us a sample uh, without final graphics, just with a uh, random like punch board they had. And yeah. so it, it was it was nothing. It was a bunch of really random graphics. And I sat at my desk and I, while I was mousing with my left hand, I just went zip, 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 <laughs> back and forth with the with the sliders. For days, like for days <laughs> I did that, uh, probably about a total of maybe 20 hours altogether, just mm -hmm. zipping them uh, over the course of a couple weeks, just to make sure that they wouldn't wear away, and they never did, so we decided that was a thumbs up and we could go ahead and get these made. 20 hours, wow. <laughs> Stress test, baby, that's, that, you, that's the only way you can figure it out sometimes. That's so your, cool. Your yeah. finger came out super muscular yeah, afterwards. Yeah, so doing strong. Doing like flexes <laughs> yeah. afterwards. Yeah, to do single finger push-ups now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so uh, I believe it's your turn. So oh, let's let's yes. see what Dr. Affer's up that's to. That's right. That's right. Okay. So let's. You know, it's funny because now I need to. I actually do need to go back to the Spinward Core, uh, which I know I can get there because mm -hmm. of my movement. So I'd like to go back to the Spinward Core, please. Yep. Uh, and now that I'm there, I'm going to try to do my job. So uh, I need to. I need card fifty-six. This is Heart of the Empire. Coruscant is one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy for a person like you. That being said, the woman offered you a small fortune to retrieve a droid that she abandoned during her escape. Uh, so if I can resolve this card, I will get ten thousand credits and two fame. Mm, so it's probably that's... pretty hard. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. <clears throat> Uh, step one, there are hundreds, perhaps thousands, of Imperial ships between you and the planet's surface. If you have positive Imperial reputation, which I do, skip to sk step three. Nice. 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 So now I have to test piloting, which I don't have, but I can make myself have. So to test piloting, to get your landing coordinates, you have to fly through restricted airspace. So let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to give myself piloting, and let's see what happens. Oh, no. Ooh, fail. Oh, fail. So I return to step two. Uh, step two is test tech, uh, which I do have. And if I fail, then my ship will get damaged. But let's see. I have tech. Come on, baby. All right, good. So that's successful. Now I got to test piloting again. Now, do I get to keep piloting for this turn? Uh, how's, just per how's she worded? Once per turn, before you perform mm -hmm. a skill test, oh, you may gain a skill of your choice for that test. For that test, yeah. yeah. So now I don't have it, so I need a crit. You... Nope, Nothing. no dice. And I guess I just do this until I fail. At, at step two, so I you'll go back to back. step two mm -hmm. and potentially take damage. Test <clears throat> again. Oof. 
And take damage. All right. How two much damage? damage? Two, two damage on my ship. Right. That's unfortunate. Well, <clears throat> I have right. not. You got two now, left. Both so Lando fine. and Chewie have piloting. So you could true. ask for a favor for them, from them. I'd have to still. And so I, so I so you're back the on damage step three. and I'm set back on step three. Yeah. Yes, actually, I would. You know, uh, uh, Lando. Uh, you're so handsome. Could I please have your clothes are amazing? Could I please have some piloting skill? Of course. Thank you. All right, let's. Whew. All right, you know I'm gonna take the other dice. These those <laughs> dice were no good. Let's try these ones. There you go. Right. Okay, so now uh, test knowledge, which I do have. See, this is, I didn't take this card for no reason. It mm-hmm. had a lot of stuff mm-hmm. I have. All right, testing knowledge. Yes. Okay. Um, finally, test tech, which I also have again. If I pass, I complete the job. Come on, baby. Oh, it's right at the buzzer. And Ugh. if you fail, what happens? And you repeat the step. Oh, okay. No, you can, no, if you fail, your character suffers two damage and you repeat the step. So two damage on my character. I only think I have two, though. Well, uh, you, you the first four. damage you took on your ship. Yeah. Right, but so I, uh, I, think, I think I have a, a total. The, the yellow number is yeah. your Oh, thank out. you. Yeah. That's, that makes it easier. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. Hey, got it that time. Got it this time. So 10,000 credits and two fame, and the card is removed from the game. I don't know why I helped her now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take well, one of these big ones. That's, you've got that favor got, you can yeah. cash in when I'm it's important. It. That's, that's true. All right, so this is removed. I know we're removing. Yep. The, or no, that's this is. This, one. this card is removed? You can remove them both. both? Okay, remove them both. Right. Remove it. them both. That goes on this shelf back here now. That is our All right, so shelf. I have completed one job. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I think, do we track with yep. these? So mm-hmm. I'm gonna track that on my card because I need your complete two jobs to flip my card. Mm-hmm. All right, so action step. Um, I, that was the, was that the that, job? That no. was your encounter. So I guess you, you skipped your I skipped my action step. step. That's fine. I probably should have done my, I didn't realize that was a re- resolving the encounter card. Yeah, mm. the job because that's, what, that was, that's where I lost my, I got excited about doing the job when I sure, got there. Sure, sure. That's fine. We can just not. I'll just say I didn't do a market step. All right. That's fair. All right. All right. Sounds good. Uh, well, Lando made it all the way across the galaxy here, only to turn around and go back the exact <laughs> opposite way. That's what I did too. <laughs> it, it's, it's where we're at, and you know, lots of jobs, lots of things it's to like do. When and you see. drive, to, you drive to like you go to Target, and then you leave Target, and then you realize like, you forgot oh, something no. at Target. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my Imperial Defector on the other, <laughs> in the other, in the cart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to owe anybody anything, but I do want to land on a planet, I think. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, got to go in space. That's a bummer. Because hmm. uh, I got to get to those rebels and drop off this defector. Uh, so I don't really get to do much there. Yep, so you'll have a nav point. Nav point it is. Counter. Let's hope for the best. All right, no patrol. If I have positive rebel reputation, which I do, mm. you catch a distress signal from a civilian ship. Test tech. If you pass and you are not the most famous player, you may spend 7,000 to gain one fame. If you pass and you are the most famous, you may spend 15,000 to gain one fame. So here's the problem. You don't have 7,000? I don't have 7,000 credits, (laughs) uh, which is a big issue. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll test tactics and nothing will happen, but let's let's do it anyway just to see how how I'm feeling. Hmm. I'll re-roll one. And it would have passed. Ah, what? That hurts even more. Well, you could sell Molly's uh, favor back to her for some money. That is true. Can I? Yeah, could I sell this back to you for Mm. exactly two thousand credits? I think that I think that will work for me since you (laughs) were so kind and you helped me get ten thousand credits. That's a that's that's an ROI. I can I can believe it. Thank you. (laughs) Then I will spend those seven thousand and be flat broke, but I'll have an extra fame. So that's I'm cool. bad at competitive it's games. All about everyone fame. should know it's all this. About I want fame. everyone to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it for me. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm actually going to continue on to my original destination, and I'm going to come here to Nal Hutta, where I will deliver my luxury wares for 5,000 big ones. Ooh, luxurious wares. And then I'll go shopping. Um, I'm flush with cash, so let's let's look for some gear. I don't like Ooh. the jetpack super much, so I'm gonna cycle that <laughs> one. Look you with the jetpack. <laughs> Horrifying. <laughs> look out. Uh, hyperdrive. I don't really need to go fast, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle that one as well. There we go. A blaster rifle. Mm. That's that's, that's what I need speed, to be right? more more fear inducing. All right, 
The Imperial moves three, and nothing else happens because we have more players. That's on There's the Imperials. Here. They're just following you around. You got a bone yep. to pick with you. Yep. They got something against Wookiees, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will encounter this white token. It's the Black Sun Agent, number five. Mm. Still not the person I'm looking for. Black Sun has agents everywhere. Their network of connections is the Syndicate's greatest strength. If I have a negative Syndicate reputation, I do not. Mm. Uh, if I have positive or neutral, I may test influence, which I've got with Wiley here. Mm -hmm. And he fails me. Oh. Uh, if I pass, I can gain him. If I would fail, I can spend 2,000 for him. Um, oh. He's got stealth and increases the rewards on jobs. I'm not really looking to do jobs, so we can just leave him there. Okay. That's me. Okay. Back to you, Melly. All right. Uh, I'm going to recover all damage from my character and ship, just because why not? Might as well. Might as well do that. And then, uh, now I have him do a market action since I'm on the beautiful Spinward Core. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I have lots of money. Hmm. Let's see here. Cargo, cargo gift for Java. Good heavens, that's a lot. That's a big expensive yeah. one. Uh, I don't like this car, it's not passenger. Let's see what's mm. underneath there. You're not here to give out free rides. We've got uh, <laughs> oh, food supplies to give to Nalhada. That's, that's pretty, pretty far. far away. Yeah. I'm going to do this, get rid of this one too, and try one more time to see what I can get for cargo. Oh. Stolen weapons. Oh, it's illegal. It's all the way up at Tatooine, but it is worth a fame. Yeah, you know what? I will. Uh, that feels that feels very pirate, pirate monarch. So mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I will spend a thousand to take or uh, two thousand to take this stolen weapons cargo. Pop it up here in my pirate ship. All right. Cool. And then um, uh, before we oh, move yes, on, we'll you. flip that. So the syndicate's moving, and you do flip. There's no contacts on the space. Okay. So the syndicate's right. just gonna come and join you. Oh, and hello. Sniff You're around. Neutral, hey, buddy. You're neutral. You're fine. We're, fine. We're good. We're good. You could blow them uh, up though if you, you wanted. <laughs> you have the option to. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. And that's not something I need to do necessarily. <laughs> sure. So I, I mean, because I do eventually want a ship combat, but yeah. not with a little dinky. Ship so like because this. you're at the core, you can mm -hmm. either have a local uh, encounter or you could try to cross to the other end, which might put you a little closer to Tatooine. That's actually a really good idea. I think I will try to cross to the other end. Nice. All right. You to do that. So you'll read uh -huh. the across the core part. Across the core. <clears throat> it doesn't pay much, but Imperial couriers get expedited transit through checkpoints, the Imperial bureaucrat tells you. You may gain the cargo below, and if you do, move directly to the other core world space. The cargo is priority delivery. You cannot discard this cargo except by delivering it. Ooh. Okay. If you take it, though, you'll it. have to dump your illegal yeah. cargo. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. And I just paid yeah. for that, too. Mm. Yeah, I think I just I think I just got a knot. Turn down the job? Yeah, I got to turn down the job. Bummer. No thanks. Mm -hmm. No thanks, friends. I can't do that for you. Back of the line. All right. <laughs> All right. That's me, then. All right. Before we get into my turn, uh, someone asked, and Corey answered it, but what was there any Eureka moments for you, Tony, while you're designing to really make you go, "Wow, this game is this game is good," or "This game, this game has legs," and this is really what we want it to feel like? Was there any mo moment like that for you? Um, not. I mean, not a single. One. I guess just playing it for the first time, uh, playing Corey's original design, I thought this this is awesome. I I, I can see a lot of potential here and. It, it has gone through iterations and changes since that point, but I think just, yeah, even from the start, it, it, was, a, it was an awesome game of capturing the, the feeling, the, the, the dirt and grime of yeah. being in the Outer Rim and, and scrounging for every credit you can get your hands on. That's it's fair. got such table presence too. Like it's mm -hmm. just got such a like a. It draws people over. Whenever you're if you're playing it in public or if you're playing it like at a board game convention, people yeah. are like, "What is this?" And so mm -hmm. like that 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 for me the 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 action there's just the the rim as it were. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's just so cool. Yeah, it is, it is awesome. And Molly, we had someone in the chat. It wasn't a question, just saying uh, that they we need more Molly on our streams. Uh, so totally. I guess it's more of a request to join us. You join got us. it. <laughs> Get in the comments. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, so I'm going to go, and those rebels didn't get any closer, so good thing I landed in space mm -hmm. before. Uh, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six. We Ooh. get to the rebels. Let's drop off this illegal cargo, but luckily this one was a two buy I had to roll, so mm -hmm. destination, I just get to deliver it. I gain 5,000 credits. Good thing, because I was broke. Uh, need mm -hmm. one more fame and one rebel reputation, which doesn't help, but it doesn't hurt, so we'll take it. Um, and this was towards my personal goal of de delivering illegal cargo. Nice. So that feels great. Yeah. And this is removed, right? Yeah. Is it removed or does no, it? No, wait, this one's, no, this one's not. Just this go, one. yeah. There's more defectors out there. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of imperial yeah. defectors. Yeah, people, Tony, people leave them all the time. One thing I love about Tony is he'll go, is it though? Because, yes. but instead of just being like, no, it's not, he's just like, is it? Read it again. And, like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I read it wrong. <laughs> well, I want to check my memory. It's very Fair. nice. <laughs> yes. Um, let's go ahead and nav point then, right? That's that's all I can do? Yeah. Yep. Let's... I it was pretty good last points. time. Uh, there is a patrol. Um, mm. Secrets. Ooh. Oh, all that's right. cool. I'm going to just hold on to that. That is uh -huh. big things happening for me oh. there. Lando's got all all right. the irons in the fire. Yeah, I got <laughs> too much going on. A lot going on. <laughs> Projects. Networking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to backtrack to Naboo because that's okay. the closest white token to me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Naboo. Oh, is it seven it's to get seven there? seven to get there. Mm. What do you think? Uh, I, uh, could, back to I could give Xander his favor back. I'm, I'm, is it worth it? it yeah. Feels like it is. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can extort it. another. I mean, tonight. I can <laughs> offer another favor in the future. Okay, um, what? So I've got some gear, I have a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. um, do I want cargo maybe? This one's Good going stuff. to Lothal, that's not in the neighborhood. I'm gonna cycle the cargo deck. Uh, Cantonica, that's even further, no thank you. Uh, and going to the Syndicate Patrol which would risk ending my turn, which I don't want to take the chance on. So I could upgrade to the short hauler. Mm. It's not any faster, yeah. but it does give me another crew slot. Yeah, I'll do that. I will spend 5,000 for the short hauler. All right. Which is right here on top. Here's my money. So, Oh, that synergizes. That ship goal synergizes with my own goal. So my personal goal is to get two con two crew from orange contacts, and the short hauler's ship goal is to have two crew when I gain another one. Oh, oh nice. So that, that works out. Uh, all right, and for my encounter, let's look at that white token, please. All right. You got... Ha, 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 you're dead. Brendan. You Take dead boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna attack Grindon. He's rolling three dice. I'm rolling three, four you dice. Go. Do you wanna, oh, you, you want me to roll? Go for oh, it. Man. Go for it. Um, Ooh, two hits. Two hits. I have two hits as well. Uh, I have no abilities, so I win on the tie, which is good. Yeah. Chewie's got lots of hit points, so he don't mind taking a bit of a bloody nose. Yeah. And let's see, where do, does Grinda need to go to Kessel? Not yeah, I could, I could head to Kessel. I will capture him. All right. Thank you. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I do, getting over here would be helpful, but I also need to do a job so that I can flip my personal goal here. So. I'm going to head to Mon Calamari, so if you can move me six toward Mon Calamari again, please, which I think lands me on Lethal. Yeah. So five will put you on Lethal. Five puts me on Lethal? Mm -hmm. mm. Six will get you here. A, a shortcut from somebody you know will get what? you another You know space. what? Put me on the nav point because I do need to, my pirate queen needs to have some nav point encounters. So okay. So let's do one. Why not? All right. Um, it's going to go straight to it. All right. Um, no patrol. The freighter is registered to Blast Tech Industries, a giant arms manufacturer. They make giant arms. <laughs> uh, they are sure to have some valuable weapons aboard. I can fight a ship combat against a freighter. Oh, I actually need to do that. Uh, if I win, I gain 5,000 into fame. 
If I win or I do not fight the combat, I can buy the top card of the gear market deck. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fight this ship. Do it. I, I'm going to do it. All right, so I'm fighting a combat against a freighter um, of five. Ooh, you want to roll I know, combats? I know, and I've got three. Uh-huh. That's, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to try. You Ooh. never know. Do you want to ask somebody for a favor to help in the combat? Oh, that's a good idea. You know, would you help me in combat, Chewie? Me? Of course you know I will. Oh, of course I will. Of course I will. Yeah. Hmm. I'll, I'll tell you where to shoot on that ship. All right. You better help me. All right. <laughs> Aim for the exhaust port. Okay, you got it. <laughs> oh, I got a crit. I got four damage coming Ooh, your way. Ooh, all right. That's not great. That's, that's, that's going to blow you up. That's going to blow me up. Man, that's... I really thought... I thought I had, might have luck on my side, but I did, did not. Did you roll the extra die? I, what extra Roll die? one more die, because the ah. favor gives you one more die. Oh, great. No. Ah, no. Well, I have a focus, but I don't think it does anything. It was worth a try. All right, well, I blew myself up. It was worth fun. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to take risks out here on the outer rim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If right. games were just about winning them, then I would not play oh, yeah. games. <laughs> so you, you lose 3,000 of your credits. All right. And then you'll have to spend your next turn... Repairing the damage. That's fine. Oh, man. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right. It was worth a shot. It was, you know, what are you going to do? Well, right. You can't become a pirate queen without breaking a few you ships. Gotta break a few ships. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lose a little money. Yep. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am really liking the look of that hut informant. Um, but I need to get to a planet. So I'm going to head over to Cantonica. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick it up. Hopefully, we got to gotta roll a die to find out. Oh, please. Nope. Ah, uh, you have an Amanda. Yeah. High roller. That was less of a high roll than I was hoping. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, card number 94. Let's see. And I already wasted my cool re roll, so we're just going to go in and hope. All right. Hut informants. Mm. So I lose one hut reputation. That's mm. trouble. Oop, that's the wrong one. One hut reputation. Uh, if I lose a reputation with a patrol in my space, end your action step. Otherwise, resolve a section below that matches the result rolled for the cargo. Mine was a blank. So mine says, my master will not be happy about this. The Twi'lek uh, Major Domo says, assuming I tell him about it, Ooh. I may spend 2,000 to gain one hut reputation, then buy this cargo and, and end my turn. I am not above bribing people. <laughs> uh, so we're going to spend the 2000 You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. yeah. Grab the hut reputation back and grab the hut informant. All right. Cool. All right. Next card up is the Rebel Patrol. And we do not flip a token. So the Rebels, they're going to come hang out and uh, back you up on Cantonica. Nice. All right. Uh, I need to go to Kessel. So I'm going to just move six... Toward Kessel, right. please. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This way? Yep. You guess where you want to be? Not yeah. on Nalhada? Oh, I just can't get to I, Nalhada. I can't yeah, reach yeah, Nalhada yeah. unless oh. I give the favor back. But because I've got Wiley, he lets me do a market action as my encounter. Mm. So I could do that. Um, so yeah, for my encounter, I'm going to use Wiley's ability to let me take a market action. Um, da, da, da. Let's let's keep looking for cargo. Oh, maybe I can find something going to Kessel. So that's what we're doing. So this is going to the Imperial Patrol. I'll cycle that. And this one's going to Takadana, which is mm. the opposite direction. Man, mm -hmm. nothing's coming up. I have 2,000. I guess I pick up the cargo. I don't have a slot for anything else. So yeah, I'll, I'll spend one for the back to supplies. And our next card up is moving the Rebel Patrol. One, two, three. <laughs> and back to Molly. Okay, Bye. well I have to spend my planning step recovering all my damage. Nice. Now she's in fighting shape. You stand yeah. me back up please. Mm -hmm. um, all right, but I am still stuck in the middle of space. That's mm -hmm. not, not great. That's all right, let's do another nap point and that will at least get me my uh, first goal here on my pirate queen. Okay, there's no. Is there a patrol? There's no patrol. Or nope. It is. Okay, nope. great. No patrol, and I have positive rebel reputation. So I experience engine trouble and sent out a distress signal. <laughs> oh, Move no. the rebel patrol directly to my space, and then recover all damage from your ship. 
<laughs> the rebels are so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you know what? That does get me my beautiful little first goal on Pirate nice. Monarch. So they were just a little slow to your distress you know, call. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> yeah, we already time. fixed it up. I'm all good. Yeah. All right, that's me. Uh, cool. So before we get into the next, uh, my next turn, I'll answer a couple or ask a couple more questions that we saw. So Molly, you talked about some of the challenges you most enjoyed while you were working on producing this game, besides the. Yeah, your exercises. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things about working on any game is flavor text. So uh, th there's so much fun flavor text in this game, and mm -hmm. I love, I love uh, side missions. I am. That's a big thing I love in any game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the one who's always taking the longest to get through because I want to play all the different side missions. And so seeing all the different, getting to getting to like go through all the flavor text. Something a producer does is I, you know, end up looking at every card. Uh, I'm the interface with licensing, so there's a lot of looking at every little thing to mm -hmm. double check stuff over and over. And that was so just really remembering as I'm playing now. I'm remembering a lot of these uh, that Major Domo one yeah. with the Twilight. It was like, oh, that's right. I forgot about her being like, I could look the other way. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that that was. It's just I don't know. I love working on Star Wars games. So mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah, uh, Tony, for you. Yeah. Out of all the things that you maybe looked at adding and things like that, uh, is there anything that didn't make the cut that you really wish would have worked if it didn't work, or maybe was something that you're like, ah, it just it didn't fit the theme uh, that maybe you uh, would have loved to do hmm. uh, in Unfinished Business specifically, even? Um, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. I will say that we originally in the uh, core game had um, the ability to do missions together. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And we ended up cutting it from the core game because uh, it created all sorts of rules, quandaries and, and things. Um, so we ended up cutting that out. But then we found a way in Unfinished Business to add those back in with a yeah. couple of cards that are specifically uh, missions that you can do alongside other players. That's cool. Yeah, it, it feels so cool to be like, okay, let's get the crew together. We're yeah. not really together, but we got to do this job, so we can all walk out of here with yeah. way more than we came in here with. Yeah. That's cool, very cool. Uh, well, I will go ahead and hopefully. Oh, I, I just I keep getting the to buy ones instead of destination roll off ones, so I am going to go deliver this cargo. Do it. Uh, heading over to the huts mm, boo, patrol. Oh no! Succeed. <laughs> uh, syndicate patrol. Sin or syndicate patrol. Yep. Uh, so I will drop off this hut informants. Um, so I, my reward is I gain five thousand again. Huh. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Gain another fame. Man. What's it and like to get money and not just lose it? <laughs> <laughs> I got it once. It, it was nice. I, it sounds nice. I, yeah, I was like, at some point I, I should spend the money, but I don't have enough to get anything cool yet. Uh, <laughs> and I gained my syndicate reputation, and this was illegal, so that means that I have completed my personal goal as Lando mm, to deliver two illegal cargo, so I'll gain an additional fame. Up and to four. Oof. Up to and we, four. We are playing to eight fame, by the way. We are, yes. And you got to complete your ambition as well. My ambition is not going well. Uh, <laughs> I am less a, a living legend and more a courier at this point. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Cab driver. Cab driver. They're like, oh, I, I really don't like what I'm working for, and I need to go over here. Okay, great. Get in, get in the ship. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so completed that goal. Now I can. I, you can take a market action. I can take a market yep. action. That feels great. Uh do I want to spend this money? I also have Living Legend. I can go buy myself a place to settle down on Taco Donna. So do I want to save my money up for that or get a better mm -hmm. ship? I, let's, let's find out what the ships look like mm -hmm. here. Not interested in that Pursuit Craft, huh? Uh, I, can't afford I, it. I cannot afford ah. it. I wish I could. Uh, I didn't even see what it costs. Oh, that it was a either. 10. I cannot yeah. afford this one either. Yeah. Um, all really cool ships that, you know, it's one of those, I'm window shopping right now, mm -hmm. and I just know it's not going to work. 5,000? There you go. There we hey. go. That one. Uh, but it doesn't really help with my cargo conundrum or my speed conundrum. Mm. It's more of a combat vessel. Yeah. I think it I'm does gonna, help your combat, though. It does help combat. I, I'm hoping to get through this whole thing without finding a single combat. Oh. Uh, that's my goal. And if it works, great. If it doesn't. That is a living legend kind of thing, though. Yeah. Like, that dude doesn't fight. Like, no. Yeah. He, just, yeah. he just travels Talks around. Talks his way out. Yeah. Yep. And so I think I'm going to pass on buying that. Uh, so maybe I'll just get this stolen hyperfuel. Sure. Yep. You'll be I, in the neighborhood if you decide to cross. Exactly, and that's it's it's on the way. Uh, so I'll pay 3000 for this stolen hyperfuel and add that to uh, my cargo. 
Uh, let's see. Got the Rebel Patrol coming back toward you. Hmm. Cool. Hmm. Um, One, apologies two, if you three, all can hear four. the tornado siren. Uh, it it's is... Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> no, it's not, it's even, not Wednesday. even Wednesday. <laughs> uh, you know, tornado awareness. Be aware. There. Yep. They can happen. They can happen. And when they do, sometimes the sirens go off. <laughs> yep. Uh, so. So you want to try to cross the core for your encounter then? I think I do, because that's where I'm heading, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's where the job is. So across the core. Ooh, that got very loud. Um, so I have neutral Imperial reputation. So the Imperial Inspector stands outside your ship. You know, we could skip this process if you make it worth my while. Mm. I may discard one of my crew, cargo, or gear to gain one Imperial reputation and move directly to the core world space. Mm. You want to give up that hyperfuel you just I bought? really don't. <laughs> you could lose a reputation, though. How bad would that be? Um, was was oh, that an option? Oh, no. Oh. I just gain... Uh, an Imperial if, I, I, if see, I discard. I see, And I have nothing else to discard, so otherwise I just stop here, right? Yep, yep. You, you'll have to stick around and try again next turn. <sighs> well, I'm not moving. I, I really like this Hyperfuel, and it pays out pretty well. So I'll just say, no, I'm fine waiting in all line. Right. Don't worry. All check right, check the right. ship. It's all cool. Okay. Continuing my route to Castle. Can you reach? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will return this to Molly Ooh. to get a shortcut so I can arrive at Kessel this turn and deliver my bounty. So Grindin is worth uh, 7,000 credits and Ooh. two fame and a rebel reputation. Dang. But I lose an imperial reputation. Mm. And I've completed the first step of my ambition. Lovely. I'm starting to get noticed yeah. as a bounty hunter. Everyone's All talking right. about you. Ooh. Uh, we got someone asking if they felt the, the all reputations ambition is nigh impossible to accomplish. Do you agree that it's the hardest, Tony? It's the one um, I picked today, to be fair. It can be difficult. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But you can always buy your way into, into the uh, reputation. That's true. Especially if I if you're playing as Lando. Yeah, Lan it, Lando is especially good at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's it's very fun, and it, my goal of not fighting anybody lends itself directly sure, to yeah. having mm -hmm. good reputation. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now I did not get my seven thousand, so I've got eight thousand. I could buy some armor, hmm. or I, maybe I pick up this Maz bounty and then see if I can find her. Yeah. Let's do that. Hmm. Oh, where do I want to keep shopping? No, nah, we'll pick up the Maz one. Yeah. Man, you got some high level bounties there. Uh, syndicates moving three. One, two, three. You wanted to either neither of you have negative reputation, so I can't no. come after no. you. Boo. Everybody All right. likes us. Uh, I'm, just a, I'm just a liked person. I'm feeling yeah. lucky yeah. on this one. Black Chrysanthemum, my Ooh. fellow Wookiee. Yeah. Come be my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of the extra crew spot? I've now? got the extra wow. crew slot. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. The infamous Wookiee bounty hunter could be a valuable ally or a dangerous enemy. If I have a bounty or job, I may spend 1,000 to uh, gain the crew below. I will do that. Might as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I should find Us Wookiees got to stick together. Yeah. <laughs> and that's me. All right. So I need to get off this? this nav point. So let's, uh, can please move <laughs> me to Mon Calamari? Yes. Huzzah. Welcome. And then I will not forget to do my market action in the meantime. So I'm going to cycle through this gear because I'm looking for a mod so that I can complete my ship goal. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? A mod. A targeting computer. You know nice. what? I'm going to buy it. Oh, but then I need 7,000. All right. You know what? doesn't matter. I'm going to spend this. I'm going to buy this mod. Oh, that's cargo. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to put on my targeting computer, which is great. And then, uh, so now... Uh, if I can eventually get another some more credits, I can I can spend it to gain to flip my uh, ship and complete my ship goal. But not right now, <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> oh, but I can do my job in Moncal, so I am testing influence or knowledge to complete this job. I'm going to test knowledge because I have that one. 
Would you like to gain another knowledge? I will so gain another any... knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Knowledge. Yep. I'm going to double up on my knowledge. So knowledgeable. There you go. Nailed it. Wonderful. And so uh, reward gain 3,000 oh, nice. and one fame and remove this card from the game. All right. Thing. There's that. Add another fame. And then uh, since I'm still in, am I still in? No, that was my encounter step. Yep. So I have to wait until my next action step before I can complete my mm -hmm. ship goal because it yep. is an action. But that's great. That's me. And I'm, is that is that your personal goal? Completing jobs? Oh, it is my personal goal. You're hey, right. I have congrats. completed my personal goal, so I gain another fame. Nice. Flip Afra yeah. over. We're doing a really good job. Yeah. Our fall behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, and now I can do more market actions. Mm -hmm. Exciting. All right. That's me. Cool. cool. All right. So I markets. Uh, do I? Go through the ships again and hope for something that costs five thousand and spend all my money. Well, I'll stay still, so I have to do that first. So I'll do the two thousand. I'll play your your Let's ship go. real estate or your ship uh, 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 salesman here. What are you looking for in a ship, if I may ask? <laughs> something uh, for cheap. Five thousand isn't going to get you very much more speed. <laughs> cheap and maybe an extra room so for cargo. So if it impacts your decision, yes. that five thousand ship on top is the only non-owned five thousand. Oh, in the is deck. it really? That's yeah. That, that see, impacts the decision immensely. Yes. My manager's over here trying to make it so I can't sell you a <laughs> ship, but... Uh... <laughs> Come on, we know what this is worth. Bring it down just a little bit. Although you you could barter selling your hyperfield back, which would give you 10, mm. if you want to look for a 10. Uh, could I trade a favor for some for some? Credits? You could You could sell off your favor. Yeah. I would love to sell off this favor for exactly 3,000 credits. I'm afraid it's, it's a no for me. Oh, I, uh, that's, that's uh, pretty steep. This shark 3, won't invest. I got oh, I got I got I got to buy a ship in the economy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, all right, that's fair. I get it. Uh, let's do a job then. Hmm. hmm. Relic of the past sounds well. Knowledge, stealth, and tactics. Not really my thing. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's rotate through and find out. Influence tech and strength. Also not really my thing, but it is a casino heist, so that's cool. I'll do that. <laughs> uh, Let me know right. if, you, if you want some help with yeah, the tech. I, I might be able to help you out. I absolutely yeah. would be very interested in that. Uh, rebel favor, knowledge. So rebels move forward to me. Cool. Uh, all right, let's try to get across the core here. You want to cross, or do you want to <sighs> do stay wanna here my so job? you can do the, do the job? <laughs> Get you more money for a ship and a, a nice home. That's true. Nothing if not a gambler <laughs> and here. And gamblers always win. So you can't move, real, oh, but, yeah, I can't but move. you yes. would do oh, the, yes. do the, Sorry, yes, the core do the world's action. Yeah. You're right. Um, now I want to move them. Let's All let's right. come back to Cantonica once I feel maybe a little more accomplished. A little, okay. A little more uh, confidence here. Maybe put so, together a crew. Yeah, I'm hope that's what I'm They'll really hoping for. Read some books on Sabak so that you know what to do <laughs> yeah. when you get there, yeah. I've been watching the tutorials. So if I have... Uh, neutral Imperial reputation. While visiting a popular restaurant on Coruscant, an Imperial cadet shares some tips for leaving the system undetected. I may spend 1,000 to move directly to the core world space. Great. 1,000. Paid off and uh, uh, yep. go there and cool. That's, that's it. Easy enough. That was an expensive dinner. It was a very <laughs> expensive dinner. Oh my gosh. Just space right. lobster. Uh, space lobster. <laughs> Still expensive. Maybe. Still expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So many watery yeah. worlds. And... <laughs> I think maybe I want to stay here to check out this other yellow token. So I will do some odd jobs, uh, clean out some some mining areas. Let's do some shopping. Maybe some more gear mm -hmm. for Might all well. these high-powered bounties I've undertaken. Maneuvering thrusters. Nope. I'm looking for ground gear. And concussion missiles also not helping me out. Mm. Um, the starfighter on top. No, that doesn't help me either. I guess I will not. Well, I do have another spot for cargo. So why not? Why not pick up some salvage? And we've got nothing on there. And for my encounter, let's look at this yellow token here. And it's Harrison Dula. Ooh. Ooh. All right. General Number Harrison Number 13. Yeah. I think this is pre-general days. 
there's enough darkness in the galaxy right now. Let me know if you want to spread a little light. If I have negative Imperial reputation, which I do, and I have positive Rebel reputation, I can spend 2,000 to gain the crew. Oh. Uh, she's got piloting, which I don't really need. Uh, she does have extra movement, and she would complete my ship goal, so yes. Right. Hera, I will, I will join your Rebel band. So gaining a, nope. So mm -hmm. I gain a crew while I have two crew to gain a fame ah. and flip the ship. Wow. And then the flip side has three crew slots. I see. Yep. She just kind of hangs out and mm -hmm. <laughs> like makes some quick modifications. Exactly. <laughs> Corey's taking off. Thank you so much for joining us, Corey. It was, Bye, Corey. It was great having you in the chat. All right, and that is my turn. All right. So let's see. I need, I need to first, first I need to do my planning. And honestly, I don't know if I want to move or not. I don't really mm. have any, I don't have any jobs or anything. I don't have anywhere to go. Oh, then, wait, I do need to go to Tatooine to get yeah. rid of this. You know what, mm -hmm. I should move toward Tatooine. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, six toward Tatooine. Whatever do you seems... want to? One, two, three, uh, four, four, five to Nal Hutta. I think, now, I think five to Nal Hutta, yeah. Let's we'll stay on Nal Hutta there. Brief, brief Great, stop. okay. So then uh, first, I'm going to do my ship goal action. I'm going to spend 7,000 and gain a fame to flip my sheet. Oh, wow. That's nice. All right, so I'm at five fame. And flip my... Now I have the Moldy Crow. Such a good name. It's a good name for a <laughs> ship. All right, I need some crew on this ship, though. I don't have much, I don't have much going on. Yeah, I need a new ship. It's not good at <laughs> fighting. It's not that great at fighting either, unfortunately. And I need to do a bunch of fighting, too. Now, Tony, can I mark that I completed my sh have a ship with a completed ship goal here, or do I have to do them in order? Uh, you don't have to put them in order. You can put a token on there, but if you were to sell your ship, right. then you would have to find and get right. a new one. Mm. Okay, great. All right, so um, then let's see. I'm going to do a market action. I need to... I should no, 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 kind of no. what I end up doing here. Rebel Favor is the one up here. Where we yeah. going? Lethal. Lethal. That's back That's here. back that way. Not too terrible, but it uh, is a little ways away. Uh, it gets me fame if yeah. I can do it, though, and I do need that. So, you know what? I will actually, I will, I will take this job. Okay. Rebel Favor, and then the next card has us moving. The Syndicate, Syndicate Patrol. Patrol. I mean, I can get. Lothal's not far from where I'm at. Yeah. It's not bad. All right. Um, and then I'll do my encounter on Nalhada. Nope. Nope. All right. Oh, it's a bounty for an IGRM droid. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not sure how to do this on an encounter. Like, what, So do I? You just gain the bounty. I just gain the bounty. Yep. All right. Great. Nice. All right. Well, try to find this guy. He's yeah. green. Academics can do a little bounty hunting yeah, on the side. You yeah, know, you know, just as a treat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's me. All right, uh, time to get over to the ring of Caffeine and deliver some cargo. Four, five, I'm mm -hmm. there. Uh, I, to deliver this cargo, roll a die. Let's hope for the best. There we go, deliver the first try, mm -hmm. just like we planned it. Mm -hmm. uh, gain 9,000 and one fame. That's, that's ship money right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to just grab a 10 and drop off this one. Um, cool. Let's put that back down under here. And let's go ahead and find something better than this ship for me. Something, something more my taste. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. A man of your legendary stature needs a <laughs> ship that reflects it. Yeah, so first try. That's very expensive. That is 25000 for the Edgehawk class swoop carrier. I, I'm a man, a man of my stature. Someday, someday. Mm. Uh, not yet, though. I'm not that living legend. <laughs> oh, please. 15000 That is exactly what we're looking for in the price range, but not what we're looking for on cargo mod area. You're looking for more of a minivan type yeah, spaceship. Yeah, I really, I am, honestly. You can pick yourself up a smuggling compartment, turn your mod slot into a cargo slot. No, that's true. That's true. I can only buy one so far, though. Um, you know what? I'll buy the ship first. I need a better ship. I've decided that. Uh, <laughs> I felt left out. I saw you all roll yeah, up yeah, in your, right? like, named ships. And I was like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> It'd be sure be cool if I had one. Uh, so I will purchase this Ozatuck anti-slaver gunship. Uh, do you have the stack, Tony? Um, let's remove that. that is... Oh, 
I'll give you that one for the stack. Cool. What is this? It helps icon? a little bit. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get myself a smuggling compartment someday when I have more money again. What's that? My anti-personnel blaster turret says gain one, and then there's an icon. That's the ground combat. Aha! Yeah. Okay, great. Yep. Uh, oh, there it is. There she is, Aron Afra. Great. Cool. So I got the ship. Let's encounter. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's get the card. I don't ring. Nobody likes crew. No, I I should because I have of loners. crew slots. <laughs> Uh, oh, I really wish I would have now. Uh, so I don't have all day. Do you want it or not? I may spend 3000 to shuffle the uh, gear market deck and reveal cards from that deck until you find a mod, then buy that mod for free and shuffle the deck. Ooh, free mod though. Yeah, Adam would've, would've, would've been cool. <laughs> I'm willing to give this up for 3000 if anybody has spare, I, spare money. I don't have 3000 I only have 1000 The credit's laying around, so they're burning a hole in your pocket, I can tell. Hmm. All right. There we go. I'll turn that we'll into 4000 when I do another job here, this casino heist. Um, so now I just, yeah, spend 3000 immediately. I shuffle the whole deck first. Mm -hmm. the, this oh, one? Sorry, that one. <clears throat> yep. Let's, up, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I really like taking the chances on this thing, but... Uh, Free mod. Free mod. Hard Free to mod. pass up. Worst thing that happens is my ship is cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and, 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 and even if it's a mod you don't want, you can sell it, that's right? True. So that's true. You the... could come and claim this mod as your own, because you, you gave me the money. It was a loan. <laughs> All right. The bunch of Wookiees with pipes show up to reclaim so, it. Yeah, you'll discard until you find a, a so mod, not this a purple one. one. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a mod. 5,000 for three. That's a nice discount. That's a good discount. Maneuvering thrusters. I can gain... One of the HP uh, during a ship combat. If you have tactics, your opponent ro rolls one fewer die. Do you have tactics? I do not. Okay, I was gonna say this could be really good for you. <laughs> I have double strength and double piloting. Oh wow! All Plus right. influence and tech. Let's flip this one up. Uh, the huts move four to me. They haven't moved all day. Yeah, they, lazy bunch of slugs. Mm. Concussion missiles. <laughs> so now they're with me and con yep, concussion yeah. missiles, which is exactly what it was on top. So yeah, we basically uh -huh. like nothing happened besides yeah. I got some thrusters, <laughs> uh, and I am good to go. Okay, Catherine. Um, where am I going? Mon Calamari or Takadana? I'm also still looking for yellow contacts. Mm -hmm. um, one of my one of my ambition goals is to destroy a patrol. My ship's only got two combat though. I could get one more by giving Xander his debt token back. It's true. But I still don't like those odds. So let's. Let's let's head through the maelstrom. Why oh not? Ooh. man, the confidence! All right, are there any actions I want to do before I get there? Uh, no. So I have a maelstrom encounter. Slow and steady is the best way not to get killed in the maelstrom. If you're in a hurry, you might not make it out alive. I may roll a die. If I roll a crit, I move one space. Then my ship suffers damage equal to my hull value. If I roll an I. Take an additional turn. Any other result, end my turn. All right. All right, so I'm hoping for uh, an eye here. It is a blank, so mm. that is just an end my turn. Yes. Unfortunate. The maelstrom will get us. It does. All right. All right. At least I, I didn't blow up. Yeah, yeah. 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 On the bright side. All right, I'm going to move to Tatooine. It's time to, it's time to deliver this job I've had forever. Uh, all right. Oh, no, this this stolen weapons, a cargo. That's the one. Yes. All right. So uh, on a, I have to d roll a die, and if I get a success, I deliver it. Otherwise, I resolve card number one. Come on. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> Hand me a card number one, please. All mm -hmm. right. If you have negative reputation with patrol in your space, nobody you in my space. I do not. So let's see. Matching the cargo. The result I rolled, I rolled a blank. Try to avoid any imperial entanglements. If you have negative or neutral imperial reputation, I do not. Uh, I have positive imperial reputation, so I deliver the cargo and end my turn. Boom, look at that. 
They don't mind that I'm uh, that I'm doing illegal stuff. There's that one mm -hmm. card. Seven thousand for me. Could you hand me two Oop. ones, please? Thank you. And <clears throat> then one fame. Nice. And I think that I don't know. Do we put those in the bottom of the deck? That's just a card. All right, great. Okay. Uh, and then fantastic. Said, end your turn. Right? That's the end of my turn. Yep. I oh, didn't wow. feel like doing any markety stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, I I always forget. I'm gonna be honest. I forget to do the market in the middle every time, but. <laughs> I didn't have any money, so I didn't think see the right. point, you know? That, like, that's the risk with those illegal cargo is yeah. you can try to deliver it so you have more money to spend on the market, but right. if you fail on your roll, then yep. you miss the your opportunity. Next time I'll yep. be able to do it. It'll be great. There. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I need to move back towards Cantonica. I don't feel great about my odds of doing this, but got to find out. Yeah. Uh, right. That's what crew were for. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the question. Do I do I try to stop at Taco Don on my way and recruit somebody? Hmm. Potentially, you can recruit somebody anywhere. You could I stay put. You could yeah. get some money. You know, you could you encounter will... that green token if yeah. you wanted, just mm -hmm. to see who was under there. That might that's be a true. good idea. Yeah. I'll I'll stop here. I'll stay. I'll not stop. I'll stay here. Gain my two thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I think I buy the smuggling compartment, which we were just talking about being a great idea. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Let's let's spend the two thousand that I just smuggling compartment. I like to picture them as you know those like uh, those little capsules people put on top of their cars. They're like they're like the black like <laughs> thing they can put. Yeah, it's just, just yeah, it's like, like a like strapped, strapped on top, down on the yeah. top of the spaceship. Like <laughs> I, I just ratchet strapped yeah. it on yeah. there. It doesn't matter. Uh, the Imperials are moving into your space. Oh, oh. well, that's okay. You're neutral we're neutral with them. We, yeah, we do our thing. I. Well, there's actually a friend with a cadet, I realized, on the spin, the spin word core. I can bring that up if they ask too many questions. Uh, and so I will flip over the green. We have Bib Fortuna, hmm. card number That's three. That's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> that that number actually may be useful for you. Not for some of us. <laughs> Don't want a wonga, he asks as he steps from the shadows. This is your chance to gain the ear of Jabba the Hutt. I may spend 2,000 to choose a player, make, mm. uh, that make that player gain or lose one hut reputation. I don't have 2,000. After resolving this card, move Bib Fortuna's token to an empty contact space on Tatooine. If there are not an empty contact space, exchange this token with a contact token on Tatooine. There is an empty space. There's there an empty is, space, yeah. Bib. Come on over. Hang out there. Now, like, well, can I just say, if that had, if that had somehow been the, the one, if I were looking for Bib instead of this other person I'm looking for, that would have been amazing. Right there. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that would have been really good. incredible. I, I wish I did not buy this smuggling apartment, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, he could have helped you with your, My your reputation. reputation problem. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you live and you learn. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, you're, so you're all done? Yep, I'm done. All right. So I'm going to keep going to Moncal. Uh, and I a, will deliver my salvage. There's a good chance I'll get to eight fame, but there's not a good chance I'm going to complete mm -hmm. my ambition. Yeah. <laughs> so 5,000 credits and a rebel reputation. I'm already maxed out on the rebels. They love me. They really love me. <laughs> uh, so I have 8,000 I can spend. Oh. What do we got on top of there? Jump master 5,000. Jump master. Eh, that 10K. one's no good. Hmm. Um, Let's look for some more gear. Go away, concussion missiles. <laughs> Grenade launcher, now we're talking. Now we're there talking. Now we're talking. It's all my money, but it's worth it. All right, ah, nothing moves, that's cool. Dual wielding a blaster rifle and a grenade launcher. <laughs> I'm a Wookiee, I can carry you them you're both. You're tall enough yeah. that you've got the, you got the ability yeah. to hold both of those, yeah. Galaxy's most feared is absolutely That's true now. Me, yeah. All right, now give me somebody to blow up. Sagarera, my man. Oh, All right, geez. so he's got six guns. I'm happy I've for got you. three, four, five, six. I'm getting mad about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, that's really good things at happening. At the start of yeah. combat, Black Chrysanthemum, I could spend 2,000. Molly? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll give you this token for 2,000 credits. Hey, hey. You know what? You know what? I will do this because you were so helpful to me when I needed that piloting help and you didn't blow me up. So. And that's my token to be clear too. Yep. Oh, yeah, that, this that's, is that's even that's even better. <laughs> Trading my favor around. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So it's, Black Rosanti sell someone else is dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice now to <laughs> saw six. All right. Can all I right. get three more? You get three more. There you go. All right. Come on, big roll. 
That's wow. a big roll. Two, four, five, six. Six. How many more do you need to have, I have six one, dice? So I need five right. more. All right, I'll six. be soft. That's a I'll be pretty soft. good roll. Hold on. All right. Wow. Ooh, I got four. 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 Okay. Perfect. So my blaster rifle says I take a maximum of two damage if I win wow. a combat. So I will just take the two. I defeat Saw. Where are you going, Saw? You're just going to Lothal. I'm going to capture that guy. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yes, sir. And that's mm -hmm. me. All right. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. So I need to get to Lothal for this job. But I also need to look for this bounty, I guess, maybe. You know, I was trying to try to go to Lothal. All right. I moved myself that way. What's the best way to get there? Do you have syndicate rep? You'll have to stop on their space if you try yeah. to go. And based on the time, this will probably be our last full round yeah. of play. All right. All right. Well, in that case, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I can get to Kessel at least so that I'm not just in the middle of space. Or is there... uh, oh, no, I can't. It's, it's a long way to Kessel. It is a long way to Kessel. I don't think I can go. I think I might need to stay on Tatooine. Unless mm. I want to go. You know what? I will go to Ry can I get to I'll go to Ryloth because there's at least a green token here. Yeah. All right. Look at that later. All right. So I'm not going to skip my marketing step. I'm going to remember my market step this time. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? I don't think there's anything I want to do. But the only thing I can do to get my ambition is to fight a ship combat of a b big bad ship that's way stronger than me. So I don't know if I've got got it in me anyway. So it might be good to have something like a shield upgrade, though. Mm, I've only got the one mod, mod slot. The jump master is a good combat ship. Yeah. That's true, but then I would lose that goal because mm. I wouldn't have a completed ship, a completed ship goal. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that seems like that seems like a step backward. Okay. All right, I, this I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna buy this. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this coaxium crystal. Where is that going, Ryloth? Yeah, no, that's where I am. Oh, I can't buy it on Ryloth. Mm -hmm. Ha, of course. <laughs> All right, classic. What do we have here? Illegal stolen supplies for Kessel. Ooh. That's a long way away. I'm not going to spend that money because I don't think I'm, I know I'm not going to get there by the time we're done here. So I think I'll just, I guess I'll just hang on to that stuff. I don't think there's anything else I can do right now. All right, but I will encounter this green token. All right. Because I want to know if it's the guy I'm looking for. And it's not. It's Greedo. It's Greedo. That's all right. Okay. What does he say? He's been hired by Jabba the Hutt to hunt down those who have wronged him. Do I do all this right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I have neutral hut reputation, so I can test influence, and if I pass, I gain him as crew. All right, well, let's, I don't have... I have influence, and you have I'm willing influence? to... I can uh, give myself influence. Yeah. I don't need you. I'm trying to get that favor back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to let anybody anything. Influence! Hooray! All right, so I pass. I can just take him. He gets to be, I don't have any crew, so it's nice to have Greedo as crew. Mm -hmm. That's true. Join me, sir, for the bit we have left. He helps me in ground combat. Alas, that's, that's all right. Well, he'll right. help you with your bounty if you end up finding it. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. If I ever find him. All right, All right that's me. All right. Uh, well, at least to do something yeah. uh, before we end, I, I think I n would still go around with the idea that I need more crew before I took on this canteen or casino heist. You can't be the only guy with no crew. I know. I, I was the only guy without a cool ship, yeah, and then yeah. I'm the only guy without a crew. <laughs> I was focused too, on, too much on my career to start. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you need a quirky droid. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, so I'll stay put and hope I find one. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, I could stop at Kessel on my way, drop off some stolen supplies. So I'll pay, That's I'll pay the 2000 Yeah, you're not far from Kessel. No, I got, I got things on my way I can do. I got, I'm picking up odd jobs, trying to make a the living. Syndicate is here, moving yes. four. One, two, oop. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I think I will encounter this token. Oh my gosh, we're just throwing things. Dr. Evazan, mm. number nine. He doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't think he does either. Uh, test strength. If I fail, your character suffers two damage. Pass or fail, I can spend 2,000. I wish I had money. I should have stopped spending money. <laughs> I gotta stop spending all the money I had. This, let this be a lesson to everyone at home. Just because you have it does not mean you should spend it. Uh, so I have to test strength either way. Um, I don't have it, and I don't have any more favors to give out. So let's I just... don't have it either. Otherwise, I'd give you back your favor. <laughs> I think. Reroll as Lando. Mm. All blanks, all three. Uh, mm. That's cool. Not so, so much with the strength. No, I'm not. He's more I, of a. 
<laughs> more of a words guy. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, I don't have 2,000, so I cannot grab him. Bummer. Card out here. So anybody else who wants to go talk to the doctor uh, can. And that's good for me. All right. I'm going to try to get caught up here by flying to Lothal and delivering this infamous Saw Guerrera Ooh. for oh, nice. two fame, 17,000 uh, credits. Delivered him to who, 17,000? <laughs> Who you uh, the, handed him over to? To the authorities. <laughs> yeah. To the good guys. <laughs> so Saw is gone. Wow. 17,000. Lots of that was money. A great reward. Yeah. Um, He's highly sought after. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. What do I need now? So that also completes another one of my mm -hmm. ambition goals. I just need a sh to win a ship combat against a patrol. Mm. So maybe it's time to upgrade to a nicer ship. Um, let's cycle the ship deck, please. All right. You've got your next ship is the VCX 100 the Light Freighter. 25. I can't quite afford it. I could sell back some gear. I will do that since the game's almost over. My All in on the ghost. My ship is 5,000. My rifle is 5,000. And I've got another 15. There you go. For She's the best yours. ship. I'll take that. Next ship up is used ship for sale. Bottom of the oh, green the best deck. One. I should have bought used. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wasted all my money New going you. there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> In my price range, used would have been perfect. It's only got right. six oh, parsecs on it. <laughs> Light scratches. Yeah. Light imperfections. Yeah. A little bit of blaster damage on the outside. And yeah. now right out. yeah. <laughs> I'm all out of money. So, the orange token's probably not going to give me anybody I can use. So let's have one last encounter card. Uh, it's nice to find somebody that respects Imperial authority. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Will you help me root out insurgents? If I have positive Imperial reputation, I may gain the crew below. Otherwise, I may spend 2,000 to gain an Imperial reputation. Mm. Yeah, why not? Uh -huh. we're, we're about to quit. You'd think that the guy who handed over Saw Guerrera would have a, you know, would already I know. have a yeah, reputation. Yeah, no kidding. Help you root out insurgents. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> they just paid the bill. They yeah. didn't care who it was. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I think that wraps us up for today. Uh, if we, I, I ended up with five fame and my personal goal completed, so I felt pretty good for the amount of time yeah. we played. Yeah. I got six fame, personal goal, ship goal, and I made two progress on my, uh, my uh, ambition. ambition. Wow. I'm at five fame with two progress in my ambition as well. Nice. nice. Yeah, this is, we got pretty Still fun. anybody's yeah. game. Yeah, yeah it, it really, really would have been. I think we would probably, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I could ever defeat a ship with five or more. Maybe with some luck. I do have the targeting computer now. Which you really need a, little, a better ship. I really need a better yeah. ship for fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fair. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, as we celebrate five years of Outer Rim, uh, be sure to look for it at your local game store if you haven't already picked it up, or you can go to shop.asmoday.com uh, or store.asmoday.com. I was wrong <laughs> on that one. That changed. Uh, but yes, be sure to pick it up. It's a ton of fun. Uh, Unfinished Business uh, is what we were playing with today. So if you liked everything that you saw today, including the ambitions and some of the different characters, uh, that's what you'll need to pick up. But thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you all next time. Later. Thank you.